This is what started this entire investigation. At first he denied it, but the further he looked into it, the more interesting it got. Nick was at the second happiest place on Earth when his life changed forever. This is his journey on the hunt for the missing kids at Chuck E. Cheese. I recorded that video in the Chuck E. Cheese of Tacoma, Washington. It opened sometime around 1980. The original stage was unknown from all the research I've done. Though sometime around the late 80s, it got replaced by a C stage. It would last all the way up until 2003, when it got replaced by a 16 movement studio C stage. I wonder if anybody can even understand what I'm even saying. Though it hasn't been completely safe. In 2018, a man brought a gun into the Chuck E. Cheese and accidentally shot himself. Nick's cousin was attending a birthday party that day. We asked him to come for an interview, but he ran out screaming when we asked him. This seemed like it was the worst that could come out of this location, but as it turns out, it wasn't. In 2021, when I was visiting the Chuck E. Cheese with my cousins from Michigan, I decided to pull out my phone and start recording. It was going normally, until this happened. I thought she was joking at first. No, he did it. That's just a stupid rumor. But little did I know, this was only the beginning of a route hole so large that it took me months to come up with a conclusion to this. You see, kids have gone missing at Chuck E. Cheese before. At the very beginning, he knew there had to be some sort of connection to this all. He decided to interview a former Chuck E. Cheese employee to figure out more about the story. What do you know about the missing kids at Chuck E. Cheese? Uh, you know, back in the day, uh, kids would have birthday parties at the Chuck, at Chuck, at our Chuck E. Cheese restaurant, and, um, uh, they would go up to, uh, someone wearing a Chuck E. Cheese mascot costume. And uh, who was in the costume? Uh, I think it was Bill Dafton, if I remember correctly. And what did he do with the children? Well, he would just summon the kids out back, telling them that there were some, um, there were some presents, birthday presents, for them out in the back room. And did they ever come out of the back room? Oh yeah, they were totally fine. They came out with like a Chuck E. Cheese uh, cup and... What does this have to do with the missing kids at Chuck E. Cheese? I just thought it would be nice to know. We need to have more information about the missing kids at Chuck E. Cheese! I don't know what you're talking about, ah! man. Unsatisfied, he decided to go investigate the location himself. This is what he recorded. Rumor has it that the Santa truck was made with the remains of the awesome adventure machine Chuck. And now he's, uh, what is that person doing? Get away, get away. No, no. Ah, what the heck? Ah, ah. Chuck is gonna have another victim after this, isn't he? Ah. Uh, seriously. Okay, okay, I think, oh gosh, she's gone. She's gone. Chucky has another victim. Ah. Look at him. He's so hungry. Ah, I can see it in his eyes. Ah. Ah. More victims. More victims. Over here. Ah. Okay. okay. There's, a, there's a birthday party going on or something. Still more victims. God damn it. Those idiots. Why are they going up with this? They need to get cheese or something. That kid is smart. He's gonna get away using that clock. Too bad the clock only goes in a circle. <laughs> Score a goal, Mr. Squared! Nothing to do with, with Chuck E. Cheese, but I had to make this joke. 
right, Chuck? Did you, did you not? Did you eat five kids? It's okay, take the time. <laughs> This is how focus. Come on, get the focus. Chucky is Winterland, huh? It's February. Why is this Christmas theme? Might as well get some tokens while I'm at it. Alright, here let's go. Victor, as long as I can put that for I've never seen Chucky eat five. He was still left with pretty much nothing to go off of. That's when he decided to take drastic measures. There is this type of ritual called a 3am challenge. If you do something at 3am it could cause unimaginable things to happen. I decided to do the ritual with a pirate DS copy of a bunch of Chuck E. Cheese video games and sure enough it worked. Is this Chuck E. Cheese? Yes, it is I, the powerful Red Charles Entertainment. Jeez, I see you pirated my best games. Well, I have a question for you. What is it? Do you eat kids? Yes. Why would you eat kids? Because I am hungry. Kids are most delicious meal. What? Better like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or else I'll come for you next. Wait, did you just say yes to me so you could plug your YouTube channel? Hello? Hello? I think he hung up. In the end, he still came up with no answer. He had gone off to try and solve one of the greatest mysteries of our generation. But in the end, the rabbit hole got too deep, and he's gonna have to back out. But you should really be careful what you do at Chuck E. Cheese. For all you know, Chuck might just be hungry for human flesh.